Next topic. Ready for this topic? What is she say? I can't tell you. Okay. Okay. Next topic because. Uh, Do you know about this topic? I think we've done too many videos on this topic. <laughs> okay. Actually, we we posted the exact same video twice. It's uh, the same title. What is it? Stipe versus Francis final breakdown. Final, final breakdown. Final breakdown. Final, final breakdown. Because we we did one like a few months ago, right? Yeah. In like October without video. So uh, now with UFC Fight Pass, like honestly, if you're an MMA fan, like UFC Fight Pass is actually really, really good. It has everything. It's 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 really really it's a lot of fun to watch and and HD quality too. Right? Yeah. So. Try. Can you not try and touch the cord? I can. It's like hanging yeah. around. Look at yours. Yours is like a thing. Yeah. Because I'm smarter, you. that's why. So what do you mean you're smarter? What do you mean you're smarter? Let's watch. I can do the same thing. So do it. I'm done. Okay, cool. So um um so what happened? Sorry, uh, I watched uh, the um the a lot of the fights to to for the for the build up uh, of Francis versus Stipe two. So I watched uh Francis's Rosen strike fight, Overeem, Lewis. Junior Dos Santos. Lewis. I didn't watch Lewis, bro. <laughs> Yo, that fight was boring, eh? Yeah. That it was a joke. Because Derek Lewis had his back was like seized up <laughs> and Francis was like, okay. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't I don't want to get knocked out. Who has more knockout power, you think? Him or Lewis? Well, um I think Derek Lewis has the most knockouts, yeah. like total. But I think Francis has less fights than Derek. Yeah, but he doesn't even train though. Who? Lewis. Derek Lewis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that's all, that's just all the game. Like, I, I think like um, training as in like if you you look at training on a scale, yeah, and you used to look at GSP as like the pinnacle, yeah, and you look at the the, the least as Lewis, like as like Derek Lewis. No, 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 <laughs> no, like no that's disrespect, man. He see, he, he's saying himself, man. He no, no, no. Oh, all I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You got um, GSP. GSP and you got CM Punk. Right. Wow, this, okay, come on, bro. He you got CM trained, Punk. He actually trained, Derek though. Lewis. CM is Punk like, trained though. Derek Lewis is like right here, right? No, no, he's not. No. He's not. He's a heavyweight, so it's like he's not gonna do all these like Muay Thai drills and high knees and stuff like that, <laughs> right? He's not gonna do that, but he's still training. Like, he's yo, still like, yo, but like, did you watch like this? It's, it's part of his like mystique. What? Yeah, but like the CM Punk vlogs, like like from back then, he tra- he trained a lot, man. Come on, two man. years straight of just training. Come on, man. whole series on the guy. Yeah, okay, the guy, bro. Good, bro. This guy, bro. Disrespect. CM Punk. Oh, what is he own to? Disrespect, <laughs> bro. Anyways, um, so um, Steve he, Francis, Steve Francis, right? Um, that that fight is going to be very very interesting. It's very very hard to predict, and there's a lot of guys that are like dead set on the like, goal. Oh, this Steve is gonna win. Oh, Francis is gonna win. Uh, but on both sides, there's a lot of um, question marks and a lot of points that people stand on that you can't really rely on, right? Uh, on the steep a side a big factor that they they say they talk about is um steep a was able to take francis's punches and still win the fight hmm. but that's not a guarantee in in, in the second fight steep has shown or in steep in two fights has been knocked out right has been stopped yep. via strikes uh dc and St- stefan struve so to to put to to guarantee that um that Stipe is going to go into the Francis fight and be able to st- still take all those shots is it, it's not you can't it's not doable right yeah. like it's you can't put that much into his chin like I get I get that he did it before but yeah. that's not a guarantee yeah. and on the inverse is Francis uh, yes Francis was able to hit him fourteen times in the first round Francis was got some clean shots but at the same time uh, a lot of those shots that Francis threw were on the back foot. Yeah. Uh, and when he's knocking out guys, most of the time it's going forward. So um, like the Rosen strike fight, <laughs> remember that? That was going backwards. That was going backwards. No, yeah, but like he pushed forward though. Remember? He he. he oh no no forward. yeah yeah he was going forward. Sorry yeah you're right. Uh, Rosen strike was going backwards. Yeah. So there there's a lot of there's a lot of factors into this, and this is not like a fight at light lightweight for example where. Um, like you could at lightweight, there's a lot more strikes absorbed. Like for yeah. example, uh, Dan Hooker and uh, Poirier, there was like a hundred and something ten strikes thrown by uh, Landra by each one of them. I have a Max Holloway and Cater. Max, well, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like at heavyweight, it's very, it's less, less, co- very like, uh, uncommon to see that high volume uh, being landed on the other fighter. So um, this fight is is very very hard to predict. I think. Um, don't say it. I think Don't Francis. <laughs> I think Francis is probably going to win this fight 
just because of the number of shots that Fran- uh, Stipe did take, right? Yeah. Um, as well, Francis has had three years it's of, three years, of eh? being focused. Focus. I don't know what. Fo- <laughs> I don't know how focused. Forty UFC focus. cards, eh? Forty UFC cards, like between the two, because it, it was at two twenty, right? Yeah, it was. It was over three years ago. Wow. So um, he's he's had he has a new camp. He has he's a lot more focused. Um, I, I his striking hasn't doesn't look that much different. Um, but I, I would like to think that okay, if you're training for three years while being active in those three years, I think there has to be some sort of improvement How about his cardio, that goes in there. His cardio, I, I think, I think if it goes past the second round, it's it's over. I, I don't I, I don't think yeah, I don't think it, it lasts so long. That's why I my final prediction is Francis first round uh, at the three minute mark. Is what 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 I think. That's that's all. That's very uh, suspicious of you. Why is the fight fixed? <laughs> this guy has inside no, details. Bro. Stipe is not a company man. He does. <laughs> he hates the UFC. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, three minutes uh, into the first round, I think Francis will be able to hit him enough um, times that that he might he might drop at least drop Stipe because. Uh, Stipe is coming off a fight with DC, and DC hit him 104 times, I think. Yeah. You got hit 104 times by DC, and you think that seven months is really going to be enough to not only deal with that, that 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 damage and heal up, yeah, but also take Trade. all of these these uh, these strikes that um, Francis Francis is going to throw at him. Right, Francis lands like Francis misses a lot. But how is a heavyweight champion in the world like the underdog in this fight? That, that's crazy. Eh? It's I honestly I think it's 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 hype, but at the same time it's that big factor, is like how much can you be guaranteed in a guy's chin? Because it, it's not a ma- it's not a it's not a question if uh, Francis can hit him or not. That's not a question. I think some people think it's a question uh, that oh STB is going to just dodge his punches. Yes, he's going to dodge him. Right. But he's going to hit him, and he's hit him fourteen times in the head, only the head, right? He, 14, I forget uh, the body, but fourteen Ford escorts, <laughs> <laughs> fourteen Ford escorts. So, uh, to me, he Stipe is going to get hit. Now it's just a matter of at what position is he going to get hit, and how is he going to ra- react? Um, and I think the way that um, he, Stipe, if he not gets knocked out, the way he's going to get knocked out is that he's going to dip his head. Mm-hmm. He's going to dip his head to to try to slip or avoid a punch and he'll eat an uppercut. Yeah. yeah. And that will be a punch where he gets a little bit rocked and then we'll see we'll see from Shout there. Shout out Hamid's video for the uh, for the analysis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Says exactly that. So so Stipe like a lot of times in the first fight as well, the way the, the times that he got caught uh, with punches or he like got a little stumbled was when he dipped his head down. So he's really good at moving it uh like laterally and and back forth whatever <laughs> like side to side and, and backwards uh, but when he dips it it's like it's ready for an uppercut and maybe Stipe goes into this fight knowing that and and tries to avoid level changing uh, to avoid strikes and just commits to a takedown because if he if he commits to a takedown um i don't think that uppercut lands because he, his takedown t- uh, attempt will be a lot faster uh, uh, in that situation 